I'm Matt from Avalites, and I'm the AI sales engineer here at our London headquarters. And today we're going to be going through different output configurations in AI. If you haven't seen our previous videos, definitely check them out. They'll cover some more of the basics as we're starting to get onto more advanced techniques in this video. So if you've got uh, your show set up with two screens, say you want both of those screens on one of your outputs on your media server. So you've got like two different bits of content, two completely different layer stacks, but you're using an LED processor that's only using one HD, but driving multiple different uh, sections of screen. In AI, it's really easy to configure that kind of setup. So we go to our output page, that's so the bottom right-hand corner, output, outputs, brings us to this page. And as we've seen before, we can draw screen regions with our draw tool on the left here and send them to a specific output on the right. So here we're just sending the full screen of the canvas on the left hand side to the output on the right. But for now we're just going to delete that. So we're left with nothing coming out of our outputs from either screen. Now we can draw our box on the left hand side and draw the box on the right hand side. And this is where we could specify exactly the resolution of, say, the part of the LED processor that we're using, and you can input values there on the bottom right. And say we want to go full screen, we can just double click that and it will take the full image and put it there. Now, for our second screen, we want to put it right underneath this. So, go to our second screen here, we're still on our output two, and we can select that and draw it just there. And again, we can input our exact values so we can make sure that we get it in exactly the right place. So we actually want to start, so I want it 800 by 500 in dimensions, and the X position, or the Y position in fact, is gonna start at 500. And there you go, you can see. Now on our output, uh, which will come on the screen now, what that looks like to the LED processor, which we can then divide up and send to our LED panels. Now say you want to do some sort of uh, projection onto an object and you only want your screen uh, onto the object and every other region masked. That's really easy to do in AI as well. Uh, to do that, I will just delete these here, go back to our test pattern, and we will change this rectangle draw tool to our free draw tool. That's by right clicking on the button, we'll toggle between them. Now with our free draw tool, we can select points of our image to select, and this could be you know, any sort of shape that you want, and double click to finish our shape. And you can do transformations. You see we're transforming our capture area on the left-hand side, or we can in fact transform our output region on the right-hand side. And we can even grab individual points on these and drag them in as need be, or use the arrow keys to line it up exactly where we need it. And again, on the bottom, you've got your regions, so you can set exact pixel points for each of these corners. As well as drawing on the left-hand side, you can, in fact, draw on the right-hand side. So say you've got your object, like a cube, you could draw it like this, and now your output is only displaying on those corners of the object that you're using. And you can see the mouse cursor crosshair on the output while you're doing this. And then again, we can move this and sample from a different part of the canvas if need be. So those are some helpful tricks in the output configuration page. Uh, if you guys like to have a look at our other videos, we cover a lot more other topics, and we'll see you guys soon.